Thanks to Cricut for sponsoring a portion of this video. Hey friends, welcome back. You've already read the title. Today's video is hopefully a new series. For me, I have a lot of things on this list that I need to get done um, and not enough time today to do it all. So hopefully there are future videos that follow this one. But today we are fixing things in my house that annoy me. I am starting down in the basement. You can probably hear the laundry is running. And I'm starting off by fixing the dog hair on my stairs. We're, we're talking small projects here. I'm not doing big makeover projects, big things in the house, like this fireplace in the basement. This annoys me. We're not taking that kind of stuff out, but I'm doing little things that just like, I walk past every day and they bug me. So first things first, all the dog hair on the stairs, disgusting. I bought this little carpet scraper tool from Amazon. Well, I should go back and say, this whole stairwell is disgusting. I know the carpet's not gonna get clean in this video. I'm not painting the walls, like all of that needs to happen, but I'm just fixing the dog hair. The dog hair annoys me. So I'm starting off with this little scraper tool from Amazon and it honestly like took me a few tries to figure out how to get it to work. You have to like hold it at a certain angle or else it just like gets stuck in the rug. But once you find that angle, this thing is like magic and pulls all of the dog hair out of the corners. And now it looks clean, it feels clean. I'm just very happy with this problem not being something I look at every single day. So this is the first thing in my house that annoys me that we are fixing. Okay, two more things bothering me in my house that I'm gonna fix right now are my nightstand and baby clothes that we store in our closet in our bedroom. Um, I need to get the next size up for Daisy's baby clothes and I need to go organize all these cables by my uh, nightstand. They're out, they're all over the place. It just looks crowded and messy. And then inside my nightstand, I actually have some belated Mother's Day gifts <laughs> that I have been meaning to get together for my mom and a little bit of something for myself. I'm going to the baby clothes. I need to actually just buy some in the current size. I guess like I have a bunch of winter stuff in the next size up, but not enough summer stuff in this size range. If you look closely, you'll still find the rat's nest of uh, cables, but it's not like right here where I'm trying to walk. And I tidied up the nightstand a little bit. We need to get into this bottom drawer. In here are all of my random things that I've been hiding out as Mother's Day gifts, Father's Day gifts that I definitely need to bring to my parents. We're going to Florida pretty soon. I'm also working with Cricut on this video. Um, I told my mom about this Mother's Day gift, or like I told her I had a gift for her because I bought this when it was appropriately Mother's Day, but I never got around to shipping it to her. And we're actually going to Florida soon, like I just said. And she actually saw the Cricut craft I did recently where I DIY'd drinking glasses with little daisy decals. Um, since then, that glass was sadly broken, but I want to make a new one for her and for me so we can both enjoy them again. I have more of those same like iced coffee glasses that we liked, but then on Amazon, I originally got these 
glass like coffee mugs so I think I'm gonna do one as um, one of the decals on this cup and then one of them on the iced coffee cups but my mom when she saw my last craft literally told me like not fluffing my ego she was just saying how much she actually really really liked it so she was just telling me how like if someone gave me that as a gift like I would have loved it we were kind of joking like these are so easy to make we should just do like an Etsy shop and sell these because I think I see them selling online for so much money but when she told me that she like would have been happy to receive that as a gift like not asking for one but like just saying that she thought it was so cute that like if she got one it would have been adorable Daisy, but these are such easy crafts to do and knowing that my mom like liked the one that I made before heard the story about somebody somebody who's in this room right now accidentally breaking it while helping me with the dishes um, I just know she's gonna be really excited to see that as her Mother's Day gift but I don't know if I should give her this one or the other one the the cup that has like the the, the iced coffee cup she definitely drinks more hot coffee than iced coffee, so I'm leaning towards this one. But then she complimented the other one. But that's kind of like the inside joke uh, that I think this is a fun one. But I think it's just like a funny inside joke between us now that like she liked this glass, she knows it's broken. I'm gonna make some new ones and give her the Mother's Day gift that I meant to give to her three months ago now. What is this? This is July, August. This is a coffee cup. We're gonna make them for Graham Graham. We're gonna put little daisies on it, little flowers. But this is also one more thing that's just been annoying me in the house because it's sitting in my drawer. I know I need to spend like the five minutes to make the craft and then like bring it with me to Florida when we go. It's just been on my like mental to-do list and I just don't think about it or don't do it. But one more thing that's annoying me in my house that I'm fixing today. I'm kind of rough in this video. I look a little disheveled. I'm like halfway in activewear, halfway in my outfit from the day and postpartum hair loss is, or regrowth is happening. Like those are some bangs. Um, but I just squeezed in like a little quick mini Pilates workout on the Peloton app that I just found five seconds to fit in my day. Can you stop interrupting me? Can you stop interrupting? So that's why I'm halfway in activewear. But next thing that's annoying me in my house Besides docking, but next thing in my house that's annoying me is this cabinet in my kitchen. This is where all of our cups go and some of our espresso and coffee stuff and liquid IVs and random jars and things and there's just too much in here and I can't get what I need. So this is our next spot for decluttering and things that are annoying me that we're going to fix in this video. She put her mind to late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, but it flies so by the wheel, even though she down and never showed
much much better i have a little pile of decluttering over there but the best part is everything has a place and it's organized bottom shelf this is all of our espresso which is right above our espresso machine we then have a line of maddie's milk cups and then our iced coffee cups next level up we have our liquid ivs our blender bottles and water glasses then we have wine glasses and then more uh, adult beverages Here's a little stash of some mix match stuff that just does not have a place in our kitchen anymore and is going to be making its way out. I think I started this video by saying that I'm not going to get carried away and do big projects in this video series, but I have a terrible idea. Um, that's only a bad idea because we are packing for a trip right now. This is what our bedroom currently looks like, um, trying to pack for everybody at the same time. It's also after 8 p.m., but I think with those stairs cleaned off now because of the carpet scraper project we did, I'm going to paint them. Not all of them, but I'm gonna start painting them. better or now it's just noticeably more worse that was a terrible sentence noticeably more worse I, I don't know if it was worth it um obviously I'm gonna finish painting the rest of it at some point in time not tonight though because it's already way past my bedtime and I think we might do like a little update to the light fixture in there and a few other little touches um but paint makes it all better so I know like the in between the progress is not the prettiest or like the very Pinterest worthy version of the house um but it's better than nothing and I'm happy to have that done because I've been looking at it and been annoyed by it and say like I want to cover up this gross paint all it would take is one night of painting and here I am taking care of things that are annoying me in my house um, I hope this video inspired you let me know in the comments what's annoying you in your house that you want to take care of and I will see you guys next week bye